Hello everyone, I'm Enchanted Moon and welcome to my unboxing. I am freezing, so I had to put my robe on. It's so damp here. It goes right through you. Anyway, got a box in the mail today. One of my favorites has arrived. It is Sugar Muses. This is the size box that it comes in every month. And for your discretion, it just has the stamp. So, this is October's box. So, let's get into it. I'm so, so excited. I did love the Midnight Muses box for October. Um, got some cool stuff in that one. If you guys haven't seen the video on that, you can definitely check that out. Let's get into Sugar Muses. So I'm gonna line it up so we can do this together. Okay, here we go. Super excited. October is just a great month. Wow, okay. This is what I see when I open it. So I'm just gonna put the paperwork on this side because we don't wanna peek at what's in the box, but I can see that it's got some pretty stuff in the paper already. So I'm just gonna look at the theme. Shadow Magic Samhain. Shadow Magic Samhain. Ooh, 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 very excited. So of course I put it on the, on the side for last, and now this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness, we got some red paper and some black little lilies, I call them little noodles. And already I can see we have beautiful artwork. Oh, uh, which is just beautiful. It really is. It's just so nicely done. And it says Samhain, all known as Halloween, All Hallows Eve. And it goes on and on and on. But it is beautiful. Let you take a look at that. Wow. That is just beautiful. Absolutely love it. Very, very cool. I'll get you a little better look at that. It's nice, perfect for your book of shadows. Love it. Oh, and we have another one as well. Ooh, we get two. Oh, this is so pretty. The witch bottle. Ah, oh, very exciting. Very beautiful. Look at that. Another beautiful piece. Get you a little closer. Wow. Another gorgeous book of shadows. And it's on that nice thick paper. Card stock, like card stock, I guess you would call it. And then we have our beautiful envelope. We have ooh, a red pentacle sticker. Usually we get like a tarot or an oracle card in here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I think this is the same one we got in the Midnight Muses. And I got number three this time. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. And our red paper. When you open this, everything's like in a perfect little spot. It's just uh, always done so nicely. Our beautiful card. All right. Oh, you don't, you don't know where to begin, but we have to start somewhere, right? So let's move some. All right, so when I move that, I have some herbs. Which bottle herbs? Ooh. I'm wondering if there's a witch bottle in here to be made. I'm so excited. Witch bottle herbs. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, 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 where to go? All right, we have this right here. This is just really pretty. Black sachet, always tied perfectly. Love it. So I don't even want to open it. So I'm not going to because this looks like it's a beautiful blend of 
Samhain potpourri. And I don't want to disturb it. It smells so good. It really does. It's like black and browns in it. It's really pretty. It smells awesome. Ooh. We have some pretty cool matches here. It says Thousand Days of Peace of Power or Peace of Love. It's hard for me to read that little handwriting, but we have these cool matches. Cool matchbooks. Very cool. That's that side, and then this is that side. Very nice. All right, well, we're going to have to grab it. I guess this is going to be our our bottle to do the witch bottle in. Let's see what she put. It. Okay. So we have this bottle with a cork. And I guess we're going to be using this to make our witch bottle. Very cool. Super excited. Okay. We have this bubble wrap. Oh, oh I'm so excited. Oh, beautiful perfume oil. What is this month? Ooh. Witchy woman ritual oil. That is very nice. Love these bottles. And I love that. Very cool. I have this right here, so I'm going to grab it. We have a candle. I'm burning last month's candle right there on my altar. That's a big one we got last month. The harvest. Oh, got that going on my altar. Ooh, this is really pretty. Samhain. It's so pretty. And look, it's got a pumpkin in it. How cool is that? And it's black. Oh, and it smells so good. Mmm. It smells like witch's brew. That's what that smells like to me. That is awesome. Ooh. Look at this. We got a bath bomb, and it's black, and it's a skull. That is so cool. I love when we get different items in the box. That is cool. It smells so nice. Wow, this box is so different. I like different. I love it. All right, what else we got here? Hmm? That's it? New? No, can't be that's it. Aha. Found something. A beautiful red sachet. And, of course, tied Perfectly. Well, this one I'm going to have to open for you guys to see. But it looks like a nice big piece of black obsidian. Oh, I don't want to untie this beauty. Oh, well, I had to, guys. I had to do it. All right, let's see. Yeah. Beautiful piece of black obsidian. Very cool. What else? Ooh. I'm lying. There's a couple items in here. We have apple cinnamon tea. And of course, what's in it? Nice size bag, as always. The perfect amount. Always, we get a tea bag. What else is in here? Ooh, we got a book. Oh, I wanted to get, this is good. This book I got at the shop, of course, but I didn't get one for me. And now I get to read it. This is awesome. Of Blood and Bones, Working with Shadow Magic and Dark Moon. Oh, love it. Can't wait to read this. This is an awesome new book by Kate Fueller. Fueller. Very nice sized book. 
really cool. Learn to work with magic of the dark moon. Very exciting. And I think we have my incense in here as well. We always get a bag of incense. Oh, this smells great. There's usually like eight sticks in here. So we got our incense. And I think that might be it. Yeah. Okay. Now that is an awesome box. So let's just go over our items here that we got this month. Okay. We got a lot of goodies. So let's. And the paperwork has the witch bottles in behind them. I love that. That is just such a nice thing to do. I just love that. All right. October 2020. Deluxe Muse box. To share a bygone sympathy. The wind thrust and the rain. And be certain that forever we shall walk this way again just to feel the connection that this gathering creates equality from behind the stars which Shallon, Samhain validates from the poem Samhain by Rex Tyler cute little on top this season steals in stealthily and lands fast the shadows lengthen beckoning us to come closer as the leaves turn to rust and gold, Samhain is upon us, and time, a time when we can explore the mysteries during the darkest of nights, light a flame to summon our ancestors and part the veil between the worlds. October is ushered in with the celebrations and is imbued, embowed with potent magic. October 31st through November 1st is a pagan festival of Samhain, also known as the Witch's New Year. Hi guys, I apologize. My video shut down in the middle of my recording. So, I believe I was here. Trick or treating, Samhain was nicknamed Mischief Night. Playing tricks happened in the Scottish Highlands as far back as 1736. Bobbing for apples, apple bobbing was brought over by the Romans, but mixed into Celtic traditions, including Samhain and then later Halloween and then wearing of costumes, also called mumming mummying or guising is believed to serve a purpose of blending with spirits of the other world it was taught that by dressing up one dressing up one would fool the spirits into thinking they were one of them and then would therefore be protected it's pretty cool and then of course um, there were no pumpkins in Celtic land, so turnips and other rooted vegetables would be carved up and then faces, carve faces into them and light them up. And that would be uh, their lanterns, and that would said to scare away some of the spirits as well. And then bring in your ancestors to you. So, it says no matter which way you choose to celebrate Samhain, keep your ancestors in your thoughts and your heart. And they might likely to pay a visit, which is, I do a dumb supper. I do that every year. I put a, um, I do a whole table dedicated to my, um, my ancestors and we sit down and we enjoy a quiet, no word spoken meal. And I have like little things of theirs. I'll do like a little video of that as well. Um, it's really nice. Okay. So in this box, it says for this ritual, you may wish to start cleansing, you know, with a ritual bath. Um, so they included this beautiful bath bomb. It's a eucalyptus and spearmint black bath bomb, which contains, tells you what has in it, citric acid, Epsom salt, sea salt, coconut oil, uh, fragrance, water, and then colorant. Um, so you can use this if you want to do the cleanse before your ritual. If you decide to use this, if you don't have to, if you don't want to. Uh, the incense sticks this month are ginger. Um, so you can use this to cleanse your space if you would like. Ginger is also good for protection and for love and abundance. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
we have this beautiful witchy woman ritual oil. Anointing oils are a powerful means of dedicating yourself and your magical components with energies and correspondence to your intent. With notes of burning wood, crisp fall foliage, and vanilla, magical blend contains fragrance essential oils with an almond base. It says use within six months. Ritual oils may be worn as perfume. And her oils are always, I love them. They're great. Oh, this is tight. Can't open this one. Mm. Yeah, that one I'm going to get my husband open. This is really tight. I can't open it. Oh, well. Oh, I got it. I loosened it. Oh, yeah, that smells nice. Then we have our Samhain candle and our beautiful matchbox. This is created to honor the energy of Samhain and used during shadow work or to honor your ancestors. This is infused with dried dandelion, bay, clove, frankincense, and clove and frankincense essential oils. This actually smells like a witch's brew. Really, really awesome smell on that. Then, the Witch Bottle Beautiful Art Print was created exclusively for this month's box. Um, and it tells you about which bottles uh, are often found buried on properties or underneath central hearts of a fireplace or under a floor or plastered into walls or near doorways as points of entries and exits for the living fireplaces and doorways can just be seen as such points of entree for negative spirits standard bottles were created for protection but now are crafted for other intentions as well such as abundance love this art pr print can be used to guide you when you are spell crafting your bottle so it has information on here on how to spell craft your witch's bottle which she gave you and she included the witchy herbs as well um, and there's a little, uh, information on what you can add to it. You always can add, like, nails, rosemary, pins, wine, urine, honestly, you can add that. Um, any kind of DNA, um, even blood, honestly. Um, there's so many different ways that you can make a witch bottle, depending on what you want to use it for. So, I like that. That's really cool. I like that we're getting little spells in her boxes. Because that's always nice to do a nice spell. This we got Black Obsidian Gemstone. is a powerful cleanser of your aura and has many metaphysical properties that will protect you against negativity. Obsidian is created out of cooled lava from volcanoes thousands of years ago and has the elements of fire, water, and earth, making it one of the most effective crystals for shadow work and dark moon rituals. It helps reveal truths letting you know the answers to secrets and questions you have been struggling for. Very cool stone. Um, Samhain Potpourri Offering, which has got to be this beautiful bag. Yes, it is. Um, on an altar or in a bowl placed around the altar, it is lightly scented with notes of apple, pumpkin, citrus, clove, and nutmeg. When the scents fade, it can be refreshed with a few drops of your favorite oil. Thank the elements as well for the and the deities for their aid in con contributing their energy to your spell and ritual work. This is really awesome. Um, oh, the book of Blood and Bones by Kate Fruler. With this Sabbath, we continue our journey in shadow season of the darkest of nights. When the barriers between the worlds are at their thinnest, Samhain is a sacred time that honors and continue the continual cycles of life, death, and rebirth. The best-selling book offers some great ideas for shadow seasons, spells, and rituals, vegan substitutes, and dark moon divination. It is very informative, and what and what to look for and how to counter any negative spells that might come your way. It also emphasizes an importance of the consequences of magic. Although dark moon magic can be 
sobering top break. I thought this book was really in a league of its own and should be in every witch's library. I hope you find it helpful and the book you can reference time and time again. Love it. I'm glad you included that. Then, of course, the beautiful... Oops, let me if I can get it. I guess I'm stuck. The Salon artwork, of course, was in... Um, is a digital college art print created exclusively for this box. You can place on your altar or place in your book of shadows or grimoire. And of course the tea and the tea bag. And I want to know what's these herbs. I don't know. Is she? It's got to be in here about what's in that. Ah, uh, which bottles of herbs? Aha. Dry Bombskills of Rosemary, Wormwood, Mugwort, Bay, and Rosemary. Awesome. And then the intuitively drawn card was from, if I can remember, I can't. Oh, Victoria Francis deck. So, we have that as well. Um... I love it. I love this box. It's great. I, like I said, it's one of my favorites. I always enjoy it. I never so far had one box that I disliked. And um, that's on both ends. Let me know what you guys think of this box. Um, I will leave you the information as always on the bottom. I just wanted to grab my candle so you can see how great it is burning from last month. Um, last month, we had a beautiful box and we had this gorgeous harvest candle. And it's burning very nicely. Love this. Oh, it smells so good too. Um, that's on my altar now. Um, guys, be happy, be safe. Leave your information, opinions, and comments below. If you like this video, please hit like, uh, notification bell, subscribe. And until next time, guys, be safe.